that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Today's video is all about a library book haul in the Libby app. If you don't know what the Libby app is, it's an amazing app that's free that you can tie your um, library card to and you can download um, books onto your Kindle and listen to audiobooks as well from your library. And I am a loser and just really figured this out and have been devouring books since I got it. So super excited about that. So without further ado, let's dive into the book haul that I have done for the past I think like two months so some of them are books I've already talked about but some of them are ones that I am currently reading or I have on hold to get so I actually got just one damn thing after another by Jodi Taylor which I talked about in my January review so excited about that you guys check that book out I read station 11 from there um, spaced out I am currently reading um, or listening to Becoming by Michelle Obama, her uh, autobiography. And then of course I had to get A Promised Land, which is Obama's autobiography, because I just want to know all the tea about everything that happened in the White House. Um, I checked out Jurassic Park and read that as well. Guys, you know how much I feel about Jurassic Park. And then I just got The Lost World put onto my Kindle, so I'm reading The Lost World by that as well. Um, Recursion I checked out from Libby off via my library and Flight by uh, Sherman Alexie. Um, I read all of Sherman Alexie's books. It was for my um, graduate program. Um, there was a whole entire course where we read like six of his books so I was like oh he has another book and I haven't read this one. So I got that one out and then I actually checked out Poems by Emily Dickinson. This is the very first like classics of anything that I have checked out at all. Um, but I just, yeah, I trying, like when reading crime and poetry made me go, oh, this is cool. Let me, you know, I really liked like the comparison and like trying to figure out what the poem meant. <sighs> So I'm trying, but I'm really, 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 really bad at figuring out, like, or reading classics. Like, give me a classic that you like that is worth reading now and won't make me fall asleep. Yeah. Let me know down below. I know that this is a very, very short kind of um, video, but I wanted to sort of, like, shout out the Libby app. Like, I love the fact that I can um, go through, I'm going to actually record my screen. I can go through all of my, um, my books. I can go into new books and it'll show me tons of new books that are out. I can read samples from them. I can place holds on them if I want. Um, I have preferences that you can refine. Like, do you have a different language that you want? If you want it to only show you the things that are available, um, you can go back. And so if I click on my shelf, you can see I'm listening to Becoming. These are the books that are on my shelf that I have actually checked out. I can even go through and look at all of the books that I have um, checked out or returned and I can put them back on hold if I want to. The only hold that I have right now is The Push by Ashley Audrin. Um, I got kind of hooked to put that on whenever I was listening to the currently reading um, podcast. But I really, really love that this is available and that my library allows me to do this. I can have up to 10 books checked out and 5 books on hold. So yeah, if you guys, um, you know, haven't been using your library, which I hadn't been using my library at all, um, I highly recommend checking out the Libby app putting your library card on there and really supporting your local libraries so that um, their patronage doesn't go down due to COVID and things like that. So yeah, that is uh, sort of just my, hey push, use your local library uh, in any way that you can. If you can't go and pick things up, try using it on your phone or um, on your Kindle. But that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.